So if you didn't already know this about me, I am obsessed with the Food Network. And this holiday season, they are doing something truly wonderful. It's called Bake It Forward. What you do is bake a holiday treat and take a picture. And then you tag a friend and hashtag Bake It Forward. And you're nominating that friend to do the same. Now here's the thing. Food Network is donating $1 from every entry to No Kid Hungry. Now that means if we all come together and we bake, this holiday season, we can help end childhood hunger. It doesn't get much better than that. For my holiday treat, I'm going to make a super moist, delicious chocolate cake. But it's a themed chocolate cake. Why? Because uh, some people are celebrating this more than anything this holiday season. Now, normally I would start from scratch with a cake mix, but the truth is, myself and pretty much everyone else in the world around this time of the year, there's just no time. So, what I'm going to show you is that you can still buy a cake mix from a box and make it healthier. For instance, if your cake mix calls for milk, you can use almond milk, way lower in fat and calories, the unsweetened kind. If your recipe calls for oil, you can use unsweetened apple sauce, which is what we're going to use today. Now what I'm trying to say is there are always alternatives to ingredients, and especially if you are lactose intolerant, you can't have dairy, you are vegan, you don't have eggs. Any of those options, there are substitutes. Just go online and type in something along the lines of what can I use instead of vegetable oil in my cake mix? And I'm sure they'll come up with a bunch of alternatives. Now, my oven is set to 325 and it is preheating. And as you can see, my fancy Darth Vader cake pan is ready to go. And I've sprayed that with coconut oil. Now, Cake mix is in my bowl. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of water. Water. I'm going to add a third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And the recipe calls for three eggs. Now, if you're not used to cracking eggs, maybe do this in a separate uh, jug or a bowl first and then pour them in. Now, get your electric beaters and on a low speed, we're going to blend this all together. That looks amazing. I really uh, want to just eat it right out of the bowl and I've clearly spilt it everywhere. Maybe I can... Don't tell anyone. We put it straight from our bowl into our cake pan and from there... Oh, this looks so good. Straight into the oven. I'm going to bake my cake just like the box mix says uh, for mine's about 30 minutes. And you know when it's ready, when you insert a toothpick or a knife in the middle and it comes out clean. So, now we wait. There's only really one thing to do while I wait. And I'm a sucker for licking the spoons, the beaters, the bowl. You just can't put it in the sink and wash it. You gotta clean them first. Right? I mean, come on. It's not just me. You all do it too. I know you do. Is that cake mix on my... Mm. I don't know. 
Okay, excuse that. Now, when my cake comes out, I'm gonna let it cool and adjust to room temperature. And then it's time to ice and decorate out, decorate our cake. Now, I can use a sugar, there's a sugar-free options for icing, and you can use different colors, get creative, but we're doing Darth Vader today, and I'm gonna be more creative than usual. And I found this black icing and some decorating tips. So, these are at my local supermarket. Genius. So, let's just say I'm gonna do my best Darth Vader cake ever. Well, it's the only one I've ever made, but I think you'll be impressed. And make sure you head over to my YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash taste of Tennille. On Instagram at Emolution and on Twitter it's at Emma WWE. But keep an eye out to see who I nominate to bake it forward. Well, at the end of that I can certainly say I am not the best cake decorator. In fact, icing cakes, something I've never really done, especially like this, but it was fun and it's for a great cause, so now it's your turn to bake it for one. And of course, may the force be with you.